Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. I'm here to look into this little device. This device is called an electrofan and it's a very popular sleep machine. And I've been using it for a few months now and assessing it and what most people use it for is they turn it on of a night time and it masks out the noises of night time that can wake you up such as dogs barking and traffic noises and noisy neighbors. And it does actually work. And uh, it's a very interesting machine to sleep with. But I'm actually interested in the emissions coming out of it. And we're going to check out two types of emissions out of this little device. And the first emission is gonna be the magnetic field. And the second emission is going to be the vibrational sound field. And here is what we're going to use for the magnetic field. So this is a tray of iron filings. And we're going to switch the speaker on and we're going to put it on top of the speaker and we're going to see what actually happens. So you can see that there's no iron filings in the middle and the field lines are spreading out from the speaker. So it definitely has magnetic fields. Now this is a tray of salt crystals and if we shake it you can see them moving around. So we're going to put them on top of the speaker and we're going to see what happens. So you can see that the crystals are actually vibrating but there's no real patterns emerging in the crystals. So my conclusion is that there is most certainly a magnetic field being emitted from this speaker and the only thing that the salt crystals were picking up on was vibration. There was no pattern to that particular vibration. Now I've tried this unit on all its different sound settings and the results are quite similar. And if you want to see the salt crystals vibrating in slow motion, you should stay watching and I will attach the slow motion of these crystals at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.